Hi, I'm Liz DeFury, the BevCam Community Engagement Manager, and you might know who this is, our very special guest in the studio today. That's right, it's Beverly High School teacher Kevin, and also the real celebrity, let's be <laughs> fair. <laughs> <laughs> this is Snoop, who you may have seen on social media taking the Beverly Instagram uh, community by storm, especially the last week or so. Kevin, welcome. Thank, Thank you. Thank you for Thank joining you. us. And uh, welcome, Snoop. I know. I've got the best nails. Oh, you're such a good boy. <laughs> yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Got the leg going. <laughs> <laughs> He's ready for his close-up for sure. Yes, he is. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for agreeing to, to be here today. Um, do you want to uh, say a little bit about like who you are and how people might know you? Yeah, so um, I live downtown. I, uh, I've been teaching in the Beverly schools for, getting old, <laughs> 15 years now. Um, and I, uh, I got him in April, during April vacation. And how old was he when you brought him home? So he was eight weeks old. I went home to visit my parents in Syracuse. Oh, <gasps> and he just spilled water everywhere. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, That's what the, the hardwood is for. <laughs> hey, sit, sit. Hey, we're on camera. Are you gonna show everyone how good you are? Good boy. Yeah. High five, high five. There we go. Oh my goodness. So I got him, um, I got him during April vacation. I went home to see my parents and went to look at dogs with my mom and Next thing I know, I'm coming home with an eight-week-old puppy. So you had planned to go look at dogs? Uh, which, not, not really. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, it was uh -huh. like it just, the, the situation presented itself. And, you know, you got to take chances sometimes. And, and just change your life in a moment. Yes, yeah. So, you know, next thing you know, I'm driving home with the dog. But he's, uh, he's been pretty cool. He's a... He's a He's a fixture downtown at this point. So. Yeah, so a lot of people have uh, have talked to us about how much they have seen Snoop around and they know him. Um, so you, uh, w what does the typical circuit look like that, that everyone knows this dog now? Well, so he refuses to go back inside. Uh huh. So when we go out, he just wants to sit and see people. He'll, he'll sit and watch people drive by or walk by for hours. And he's still a puppy, right? He just turned a year old. So instead of people watching, it's puppy watching? Yes, yes, yes. I stole yes. that from the GoFundMe. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, there's so many dogs downtown and you just, you end up meeting all the people during his walks. Oh, we found, we found the best spot. Oh my there gosh, oh my gosh. There it is. So yeah, no, he's just. This is prime TV content, Snoop. He goes up to everyone that he meets, just wants to say hi, mm -hmm. gives him a hug, like the whole thing. Like he's just. Almost to the point where I don't even think he likes me. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so it's, you know, there's a, there's a big community downtown of dog lovers and dog walkers and everything else. So I know, I know. Hey. Um, why don't you talk to us a little bit about why Snoop is here today? Why are we talking to you and Snoop? And, and well, what has been he's the awesome. craze about him? <laughs> of course he's awesome. So we love him. When I, when I first got him... The first time I went to the vet, um, they noticed a heart murmur. Mm -hmm. And um, usually, a lot of times, they'll grow out of it. Uh, and this is common in, in this breed? It's or common in, in a general? lot of breeds, I guess. Like, I've done all the research, you know, yeah. since I've had them. But it's common in a lot of breeds, but they do grow out of the heart murmur. Okay. But as they... So I eventually went to a cardiologist... Hey. I'm sorry, I stopped scratching. You know what? That's on me. That's I eventually me. went to a cardiologist and they did, um, they looked at his heart and they recommended, highly recommended, because he has severe pulmonary stenosis, I believe. Okay. Um, and what is the, that? So it's like one of the valves in his heart is blocked and it won't fix itself. So eventually he'll be out of breath, he'll have dizzy spells, and he won't live nearly as long as he should. So they want to put in a balloon that opens it for him. Oh, okay. Um, so that was probably probably December. They they said you know we highly highly recommend that. Or that's it's, some crazy news to get right after yeah. you brought home a puppy. Because I got the dog to. Of course, yeah. To relax and like so I. So that you I, two I, can enjoy each other. Right, and I and I expected a lot of the expenses, but that was a big one. Yeah. You know, and then the surgery itself is, it's risky. It's heart surgery. Yeah. So 
it's you know I'm 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 already nervous about it, you know. Yeah, any kind of surgery is risky. Yeah. yeah. Um so after you'd found out this diagnosis, what happened next? So they put him on medication and then um they wanted to see how that was working. Um but then in the process of or I think I have a new buddy. <laughs> During our daily routine of walking, I met this woman named Doreen, uh -huh. who uh, fell in love with Snoop and uh, wanted to, she's like, we're doing this and we're going to start a GoFundMe page for him. And so... Had you ever done a GoFundMe no, page like No, I, before? like, no, nothing. Like, I had no idea what was going on. Yeah. And I said, like, if you want to do it, that's amazing, like, but, like... I don't know. I'm conflicted about it because, you know, everyone has their issues. Everyone has a dog or everyone has pets. So, mm -hmm. um, but she insisted and she did it. And then within the first week, we raised $4,500 and the outpouring of like love. That's incredible. Like that's, <laughs> that is, that is the community saying that they, you know, they have the, the desire to want to, to help. I mean, I'm crying. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a kid in school that pulled out five bucks out of his wallet. Yeah. To hand it to me, and I'm like, oh my god, what is going on right now? But it's just it's Do been you overwhelming. Do you want me to grab some tissues? No, no, you're, you're good. You're good. I'm gonna get made fun of so bad for this. No, no, it's just. It's okay. The community support has just been off the charts. Yeah. You know, off the charts. I mean, he was pretty, pretty well known before then, but then. Um, I was in a staff meeting the other day and I was getting notifications on GoFundMe one after the other and I was like, is GoFundMe malfunctioning right now? <laughs> and then I found out that it was uh, entering Beverly, got a hold of it and posted it and the, the, the amount of people that see that and wanted to donate was unbelievable. And I think it was $5,500 in, in one day. Uh, yeah, and then we just checked it today, and they've already reached more than $11,000 out of the $15,000 goal. Um, as you said, heart surgery on animals, heart surgery in general, is extremely, <laughs> extremely expensive. Um, and uh, especially without insurance. Yeah. Um, and pet insurance is... is just like human insurance, it's it's yeah. crazy to have yeah, to navigate, I have and it's not and it's just, uh, yeah. helpful when you need it. When you need it, right? Yeah. Um, so I, yeah, I call it the entering Beverly boost whenever that happens. Oh, it's amazing! It was absolutely our, amazing. Our anonymous uh, local influencer who uh, shared the story on Instagram and. Uh, we certainly saw it. Um, a number of us here at BevCam all live locally and downtown as well. So some of us already knew of Snoop and others had heard about it through Instagram. And certainly that's how you guys got on our radar to do this. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, and see if we can't help you guys get past where you need to be, get that, that last final stretch before yeah. the goal. Um, which, is, which is great. So. <laughs> I know. You spilled your water, buddy. Yeah, good boy. <laughs> he's definitely energetic despite his situation. <laughs> yeah, no, he's, I think he goes harder than he wants to a lot of the times because he does, he does have some dizzy spells. He drank too much seawater the other day. Ah. And, uh. Well, that's not really good for anybody. No, not good. So he's learning. What are some of Snoop's favorite things, uh, either throughout the day or just in general? Uh, his favorite things are whatever I'm wearing on my feet. Okay. So my feet, my shoes, my socks, <laughs> anything that's not a toy that I bought him. Or his Wonderful. Favorite. Yeah, he just Wonderful. wants to go after it. Um, and then he just, he honestly just loves being outside. He loves the beach, although I got to stay away from low tide because he drinks too much of the water. Oh my but, gosh. Um, he loves just walking, just being outside. And he'll sit and watch people go by for hours on end. He loves meeting people. He loves other dogs. He just wants to see other dogs. Yeah. Yeah, Pop. Snoop, how many other doggy friends do you have downtown? He has a ton. Yeah. And he, yeah, he likes to play. He likes to be rubbed, obviously. I know. He's just had me nonstop. Like, but he's great because he, he's a, he also likes to cuddle and sleep and just hang out. Yeah. Which is great. 
because, uh, you know, it's just... He also likes to get up at 3.30 in the morning, though, to go out, so. Oh, you're so, yeah. you're, you're so productive and enterprising getting up that early. <laughs> Look at you go. And then he looks outside and he's like, wait, there's nobody out here. And I'm like, yeah, it's 3.30 in the morning. Let's go back <laughs> inside, dude. He hates being wet, I'll tell you that. Okay, I could see that. I could yeah. see that. <laughs> he's like a seal. He doesn't dry very well. Are and you then he howls. the land seal of Beverly? <laughs> Schubert? Is that it's you? the land Schubert, that's right. <laughs> the land Schubert? I would believe it. I'd hey. believe it. Right now we're seeing that he's very itchy. He said he uh, was at the beach earlier today, right? Yes. Well, yes. <laughs> yeah. So um, he's but, got that wonderful um, beach musk uh, here in yes, the studio. He stinks. Is what, you can say it. <laughs> he smells like a wet dog. He prepared very, uh, very hard for this interview, as you all can maybe tell. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he also is camouflaged, so when we go to the beach, he looks like the sand, he looks like rocks, he looks like the, the water, and he blends into everything. But... So... And then he does that. <laughs> hey. Hey. Funny. You are a good boy. You're okay. So what y'all are missing at home is that um, right before we started recording, Snoop had had unfettered access to the BevCamp studio <laughs> and the offices. We had another dog here. There were lots of people. And now he has to be stuck in this room with just us um, without access to various things under people's desks that he can get into. So as you can imagine, he's very unhappy with us at the moment, even though we're trying to do something very nice for him right now. Yes. <laughs> But that's okay. That's okay. We will always forgive you. Yeah. Always. <laughs> yeah, I talk to him all the time. I'm like, you don't understand what I'm saying right now? Like, because I'm very clear what I'm saying. And he's like, what? <laughs> so, yeah, no, he's he's fine. Um, so what sort of uh, schedule uh, are you guys looking at in terms of uh, the, the vet and, um, like, assuming you hit the goal yeah. needed? Um, what are the next steps for Snoop? So... He's, um, they wanted to see how the medication worked for another month or so. So mm -hmm. I have an appointment beginning of April. Um, they're gonna look at his heart to see how the medication's working, but she said it's highly unlikely that it's gonna do enough to, to not need the surgery. Mm -hmm. um, so once I go in in April and I go to the, um, the Massachusetts Veterinary Clinic in Woburn, um, so we'll set up the appointment then. And they'll probably do it with probably by the end of April, is my guess. Um, a little nervous about it though, because <laughs> that's understandable. You know, but uh, what does the recovery time after that look like? Do you know? They haven't said what the recovery time is. I don't really know, um, but it's uh, it's probably not probably not quick. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's okay. He'll deserve plenty of yes. rest while he gets better. And then and then he'll be able to. Because I work at, so I work at Wenham Country Club as well. Mm -hmm. um, so I take him up there with me. He's been he's been at Wenham, at the golf course since he was eight weeks old. Like he used to. There's probably a picture, but he he's used a to, golf star. He is. He chases the cart. He. Uh, Are you the gopher? He is. He chases the geese away, but uh, he also runs a little too much and gets a little winded. Yeah. You know, but uh, yeah, he's a he's a fixture up there as well. So. Hey, hey. And he's serenading us now. <laughs> he is. This is what he does. Hey, buddy. You're good. You guys are all missing this. He's got the best ears. The absolute <laughs> best ears. Oh, my goodness. He's such a star. <laughs> it, yeah, but if he didn't smell so bad, maybe. You know, but like I said before, we will always forgive him. Yes. Yes, we love, we love having you here even if you smell. <laughs> even if you smell. Everyone on Instagram is going to be so jealous. Yeah. <laughs> He's, I'll, I'll be walking down the street and people will roll down the window and be like, Snoop. I'm like, who is that? I have no idea, but it's great. So I guess, are you prepared for the kind of celebrity that Snoop no. can bring to your life? No, I am not. I, listen, as a teacher in Beverly, I live downtown. So, you know, I'll try to go to the store and it's like, you're trying to be like incognito, you know, you know try not to be seen all the time. But with him, it's impossible. So I've just sort of accepted it at this point. 
I have heard him described as the unofficial mayor. <laughs> the mayor of mayor Beverly. Beverly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it makes sense. He uh, he knows he knows everyone. Has he met Mayor Cahill yet? I don't know if he has. Um, we should probably have a showdown at some point. Yeah, like, I, mean, I know I'm the down, official yeah. elections are a little ways yeah. away, but um, uh, you know, Mayor Cahill, if you if you ever want to take on Snoop, I think we could film that if you're interested. Yeah, you know, That's going head great. to head, <laughs> we can see who can do a better high five. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Oh. Yes. Oh. I know. You're okay. Oh, You're okay. God. Hey, see that you see yourself on camera? He loves watching National Geographic. Oh, you like watching TV. When he sees the hyenas and the lions, he can't keep his eyes off of it. You'll so. have to put Bevcam on when he's on the TV. I know. Well, I'm trying does. to get him to look up there. I know. You know. We've got monitors behind the cameras for hey, anyone who, who's funny. wondering what he's pointing at. Who is that? Um, so that Snoop can see himself on camera. And he actually did just look up and smile at himself. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. You're being a pain. No, he's fine. Uh, so how long is the GoFundMe running for? Um, so again, I don't know GoFundMe very well. Um, hey, will you relax? It's okay. Um, Are you all out of treats? I think I am. <laughs> I think, I think they're in my coat. Um, hey, buddy. Relax. I know. Relax. Oh, yes, sir. Everyone gets nervous their first time on TV. I know. Yeah, there we yeah. go. There you go. So how long is the GoFundMe running for? So until it hits the, the goal, I guess. I don't really know how it works, um, but I think it's open-ended. Um, okay. Anything, obviously, anything over what I need for the surgery is gonna like I, I'm gonna pay everything for like whatever's anything that I don't need. I feel like I'm going to donate to either someone else's GoFundMe or the ASPCA or something like that because you just need to yeah. pay it forward type of thing. That's you know? incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. To see the community coming out in this way. Mm -hmm. And we've seen this multiple times before. This isn't the first time that we've seen the the Beverly community all come together and help uh, with with just, you know, some kind of like either freak accident or um, or something that has tragically befallen someone. And they uh, it's it's one of the incredible things I found about this town um, being new to Beverly <laughs> myself. Yeah. Uh, and I think a lot of people will remember the historic Beverly column that had been vandalized last year. And everyone came together to make sure that that had uh, was going to be able to be recovered yeah, and yeah. taken care of. And that was an incredible thing. And now we see with Snoop now and many other smaller uh, wonderful acts of, <laughs> of giving in between those that some of them that we might not even be aware of. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a wonderful thing to see. Yeah. I mean, I've gotten emails from, uh, students, parents, um, kids I have in class, like saying entering Beverly is like the best thing that's happened to Beverly. Cause it's just such a community thing that people just come together with the column and then Schubert <laughs> and you know and and everything else so it's it's been amazing and um i uh i also like um i just want to give a shout out one shout out to absolutely one of my students connor connolly if you're watching buddy um, he's giving the shout out too you he, hear that connor that was for you connor <laughs> connor made connor made sure that entering beverly knew about him and then uh unpacked living which is a store downtown um there it's so we go on a walk and we have certain stops so we have, you have unpacked to come living over here for me to reach you and we get Hi. treats from unpacked living and then we go oh. to the to rich's hot sauce place and he gets treats there so house of hot sauce yes yeah. yes yes so they're all very good to him and connor you know so the um the owner of unpacked living sent it to entering beverly and then also one of my students did and i think um i think that's maybe what got it got it to happen and I'm overwhelmed with appreciation. Although, hey. He's pretty overwhelmed too, you I can know, hear it I for know. sure. I think he's trying out for Frozen. Ah. Yes. 
<laughs> Is that a good segue? I think so. I think that's a great segue. Yeah. So, what did you tell us about Frozen? So I have. Um, I was. I was uh, given four tickets to Let me get your Disney's butt. Frozen in July. July. I think it's July seventh or thirteenth. July 13th, I believe, um, which is a pretty hot ticket in Beverly, from what I've heard. Oh my goodness. Um, it's like $340 value, um, and we're going to start a, a raffle, $10 a ticket, something like that. Um, should be up on um, Instagram or, or Facebook going forward. Um, and, you know, it's just another community member, uh, you know, looking after Looking after Snoop, so. Yeah, a couple of people I know have come out with things things like that. So you've got this raffle coming up. I know there's uh, an artist, um, oh, or yes. at least a couple of artists who have been doing uh, pet portraits yes. with donations. And I, I apologize. I completely forgot about that. Thank you for <laughs> reminding okay. me. Um, I believe her name is Jody, or Ju no, Judy, Judy. Um, and she does pet, pet ornaments for $25. And so she said if anyone donated $25, she'd do an ornament and she did one for Snoop um, and then she raised I think eight hundred dollars alone just on her pet ornament so I think that's a really great uh, thing to remind people of is that most of these donations have only have been between like five dollars and twenty five dollars yes, at most it's yep. not been you know huge businesses or anything coming in or, or huge donations it's been a lot of just regular people giving whatever they can yep. uh, and uh, it's I mean, some I think of the, you've had over a hundred yeah. people donate. So it went. I think there was a hundred people before entering Beverly, and now I think it's three hundred and twenty people. Hey, you're on camera, bro. <laughs> How many people did you say? Three hundred and twenty. That's donations. incredible. Yeah, and that's awesome. I got to be honest. Like some of the ones that make me more emotional are the the, the five dollar ones, the ten dollar ones, because yeah. it's just like. I don't know. I, I don't even know how to express my gratitude. It's just unbelievable. It, it really is. The love and support that has come from the city of Beverly and, and the, you know, the people in the community is just, it's just been overwhelming. So that's all I got to say, I guess. Well, if you want to say anything directly to the people, we've got your camera right here. I mean. <laughs> Snoop, if you want to say anything uh, directly to your fans. I just want to say thank you, Beverly. Uh, anyone that's donated, anyone that I haven't gotten back to and thanked you personally, from the bottom of my heart, I really appreciate it. I don't even know the words to express how, how much it means to me. Um, although you probably saw me crying earlier, right? So um, it means a lot. And he's usually not this vocal, but it's all good. Well, he's getting very emotional too. He yes. can feel the love, of course. Yes, he is. Um, <laughs> And I want to thank Bevcam for having me. I think this is amazing, and and thank you, Liz. It's been it's been great. Of course, thank you so much for agreeing to do this. That's awesome. And then um, we'll do an update, right? Yeah, going? we want to we want to know how he does. We want to know how he's recovering. Yes, we want you <laughs> back here. Maybe next time, not right after the beach. <laughs> hey, I know, right? Um. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope that you'll check out the GoFundMe link, which should be on the screen, uh, so that you can go and help out this incredible dog, Snoop. We love having him in the studio today, and we hope to see him again soon. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.